Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. LiftMaster's residential and light commercial swing gate operators are loaded with industry-leading features. This video provides an overview of the feature-rich control board for the LA400DC, LA412DC, and LA500DC series. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult your owner's manual for complete instructions and safety information. The set open, set close, and move gate buttons are used to program the limits. Limits determine where the gate stops in the open or closed position. In an installation with two gates, the gate control allows you to choose which gate to set limits for. After setting the limits, running through a complete open-close cycle using the test buttons labeled open and close allows the controller to automatically set the force. To manually increase or decrease the force, use the reversal force dial. Tweaking this setting helps to prevent nuisance reversals caused by wind or other factors. Another feature important for dual gate applications is the bipart delay. Switching this on controls the timing of gate movement when it is desired to delay the opening and closing of one of the gates or to ensure two gates meet the close position at the same time. The Learn button lets you enter the mode for programming accessories, including up to 50 Security Plus 2.0 remote controls and two keyless entries. The test buttons, labeled Open, Close, and Stop, are also used in the programming process. The Learn button also allows you to program the operator to communicate with an internet gateway using LiftMaster's innovative MyQ technology. In installations with two operators, the Learn button activates wireless dual gate communication between the operators. Open, Close, and Stop can also be used to operate the gate. The error code display is an important diagnostic tool. The open, close, and stop buttons allow you to access and scroll through the error code history. A variety of error conditions, including wiring and battery issues, are stored, allowing you to resolve these issues more quickly by spending less time figuring out what's wrong. A list of error codes can be found on the wiring diagram as well as in the manual. Status LEDs indicate whether the gate is moving, timer status, input power, and whether the battery is charging or low. When AC power is lost, LA models continue to operate on battery power. When the battery power drops to 23 volts on the LA400 or LA500 and 11.5 volts on the LA412, the operator will latch the gate in either the open or closed position depending on the chosen setting of the battery fail control. The timer to close dial allows you to set how long the gate remains open before automatically closing. You can set the closing time anywhere from immediate to three minutes. With this switch in the off position, the gate will remain open indefinitely. A variety of accessories can be wired directly to the control board using the terminal blocks on the right side. Individually labeled terminal blocks for entrapment protection and vehicle detection devices allow for easy connection of these important safety features. For users who desire increased functionality, the LA500 comes with an accessory expansion board installed at the factory. This expansion board provides added features including control switches to govern gate behavior under a variety of conditions and auxiliary relays for controlling external devices. There are also inputs for LiftMaster's plug-in loop detector, which is powered directly from the expansion board with no need for an external power source. Expansion boards can be purchased for the LA400 and LA412. For complete information about your operator, refer to your owner's manual or go to www.liftmaster.com for additional support. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Be sure to check out our other products and accessories when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com.